What's going on everybody? We are back at it with another spring cleaning aka collection for sale video Whatever you want to call it all these items plus more will be for sale, but they're not just gonna be for sale We are gonna be throwing deals on everything. This is basically something that we do every single year You know, I'm not selling the entire collection just kind of the items that I think someone might enjoy a little bit more than me So it's kind of like a win-win situation for everybody. You know, I get to clear up some space You guys get some deals. So how we're gonna be doing this is I'm gonna be bringing up each sneaker or clothing item and then I'm gonna share with you maybe a memory or a story that I have with that item you know kind of my way of parting ways and saying goodbye and then after that they're all yours. All right, so everything will be for sale on this website right here which we'll talk about a little bit later but for now let's get into the first sneaker. All right, guys, so let's start off this video with a little bit of heat. We got the Nike Yeezy V2s right here. Um, these actually have a very special place in my heart. I wore these on the first episode of Anything for the Hype shot at Complex Con not too long ago. And based off of that episode, we actually ended up getting picked up for six episodes on the Complex YouTube channel. This is actually the first time that I've uh, announced it to you guys, but it is official. We will be filming that very soon in the springtime. So not only are you just going to get a cool sneaker, you're also going to kind of get like a good luck charm because these definitely worked out for me. As far as sizing goes, these are a eight and a half and they do actually have the original receipt. Let me look in the box. Bam! 245 plus tax, 266 when they were retail. That is crazy. Also have the platinum bag right here with the lace tips. I actually only worn these one time, so the condition is very crispy. They also have a slight chipping on the midsole, which is very common for these Nike Yeezys right here. Um, nothing that a retouch can't fix. They also have the uh, Riff LA tag right here, so these are 100% authentic. And also the last pair that sold on StockX was 5000 500 bucks, which is insane for the Platinums, but I'm not even gonna be selling mine for close to that. I'm probably gonna be asking maybe in the uh, two to 2,500 range. Like I said, they've only been worn once and they are in very crispy condition. That's the first sneaker I wanted to tell you guys about. Like I said, very near and dear to my heart, kind of like a good luck charm. So there we have it, the Nike Yeezy 2s. All right, so the next sneaker I wanna go over are these Nike Akron Impressos right here. You know, I'm, I'm probably gonna say this line, you know, with every sneaker, but these also have a very special place in my heart. These were the sneakers that basically Tan and I, you know, dubbed the sneaker of the year back in like, I think that was 2016. You know, 2016, we made the whole video about these and everything. These right here were kind of part of that whole entire like olive wave. You know how everybody was saying I was obsessed with olive and everything. These probably had something to do with that. Probably the most worn sneaker out of everything I'm selling. These are probably worn maybe eight to 10 times lightly, but we're gonna be throwing a deal on those. They're probably gonna be like, what, two, 240? 250. All right, so next sneaker I want to talk about are these Fear of God sneakers. Uh, I forgot what video I shot an unboxing for these in, but I think it was maybe the uh, video of the Mr. Porter unboxing. These right here are crazy, man. If you rock these to the club, just be prepared. Everybody gonna be like, how'd you get so tall? Because these add about three inches to your height. You know, these worked out really well for me. You know, I gotta pass on the blessings to someone else that is, you know, vertically challenged. But all jokes aside, these are super clean, nice new buck upper with a uh, gum bottom midsole and these were worn only like a couple of times, I would say, just a little bit of dirt on the bottom. But other than that, really, really clean. As far as price goes, it's crazy because these actually retail at like 795 bucks. I'm not gonna be selling mine for nearly as much. And they are size 40, which equates to kind of like a uh, nine in Nikes or Jordans. So there we have it, the Fear of God sneakers, 250. We also got a 700 Wave Runners original color. Um, this reminds me of when Johnny did the whole flip-flop thing, bought his first pair of Yeezys. On my way to purchase a pair of Wave Runner 700s. And he actually borrowed my pair to go compare with the pair. I just said pair like 30 times. He borrowed my pair to compare with a pair that he was buying off Craigslist or something. And then uh, the pair that he was looking at ended up being fake. So he got a pair. How many times can I say pair? Pair, 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 pair. He bought a pair online, I think. So uh, these will be for sale. They are size eight and a half. I've probably worn these 
twice maybe. It is so unfortunate. The shoes are actually fake. Did a comparison with Richie's shoe. So let's switch things up a little bit. Talk about the clothes that I will be selling. We got some good stuff in here. We got a pair of Fear of God sweatpants. These are from the uh, fourth collection, I think. Retail for these is, I don't even know. Like I bought these used. I think retail might be like 500 bucks for these sweatpants, but they're really comfortable, really thick. The quality is insane. A really dope pair of casual pants that you can kind of like switch up and rock flannels with and everything. The drawstring, you got the zipper. So these will probably be what, 200 bucks. We also have some vintage stuff. We got a uh, Harley Davidson vintage tee right here. This is real vintage. You can even tell by the fading and everything. When I purchased this from a uh, reseller, he was telling me this is probably like one of the best t-shirts that you can get when it comes to vintage tees. And if you don't like the design, you can just flip it inside out and rock it as a blank tee and you're still gonna get that washed black look. So we do got some vintage stuff. What else we got? A couple baked tees. I don't really have any stories about these baked tees, but they're just super clean. One is a size large and one is a size medium and they run kind of small. So just keep that in mind. What else? We got a lot of stuff. So this right here is the CDG Supreme box logo tee that I got when we did that uh, High Beast mystery box with Paul. Shout out to Paul. But this one we did at Soul Stage and uh, that was like a weird video, man. That video has some crazy stuff inside of that High Beast mystery box. We gave Paul $5,000 to buy whatever he wanted for me and Tan in the box. But the Supreme CDG box logo tee, I'm not sure how much I'm going to be selling this for. Condition wise, it is basically brand new, super crispy. All right, so next we will, we, 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 we got a couple of uh, collared shirts right here. We got a very rare Pata jersey. This jersey right here is very rare, all right? Pata is an international brand, always collaborating with Nike and everything. The jerseys are very sought after, so we got a very clean one, just 14 in the back. Really nice royal colorway. And then we also got a, a Supreme Nike polo. This polo right here reminds me of when I went to the Laker Rockets game, the season opener, and they had that whole fight with, you know, Chris Paul and uh, James Harden. Who else was in that fight? Uh, Ingram. I actually wore this polo to that game and I haven't worn it since, so it is very fresh. I'll probably be selling this for like, I don't know, like 60 or 70 bucks. So a couple collar shirts for you guys. So right here we have the $500 Nike Lab jacket that Tan found when we were at that uh, outlet. He was actually wearing the same one when he found this for me and this is a size large but it kind of runs smaller I would say it is like the equivalent to a medium slash small so it is pretty tight like I said retail is five hundred dollars and if you buy this make sure wherever you live is very cold because the reason I don't even rock this that often is it gets very hot it has this like crazy insulated material but you know like I said shout out to tan for finding this I just can't rock it, it gets too hot um, but it is retail 500 bucks gonna be letting it go for way less than that all right so let's bring it back to some sneakers we also got the uh, John Elliott LeBron's you know how I feel about these man a lot of people always ask me if I still have these and I do for you know scientific research purposes Purposes. Even though I put these as the top five worst sneakers of 2018, I still had to keep a pair. I'm gonna be letting these go for like a hundred bucks, man. These ain't for me, you know. They might be for you, but they're not for me. The John Elliott's right here, aka Tan's favorite shoe. All right, so what else we got? We got two pairs of Nigel Air Force Ones right here. This pair is dead stock, and the black pair I've worn one time for maybe 30 or 40 minutes, so they are very crispy. Um, these are actually very, very hard to find. They don't even have them on Stock X, which is crazy. I actually have two pairs of each color, so I thought I'd just, you know, sell one color of each. Um, what else we got? We also have the Nigel Jordan ones right here. And these are way too small for me. I'm looking for a size eight and a half or nine, and these ones are dead stock size eight, hence why I have not worn them. What else? We got another pair of Jordan 1 Unions. And I also want to let you guys know, this is just like, I would say maybe 60 to 70%. We are going to be adding some items. So this is kind of like a preview. Also, we will be selling a few of tan sneakers as well. He rocks a size 9.5 slash 10. So if you guys can't fit this size 8.5, there are a couple 9.5 slash 10s that will be uh, offered by tan. I think he was telling me he's trying to sell his Lava Prestos, the acronym ones, Jordan 1s. Oh, he has a pair of Nigels he was selling as well, the Black ones but yeah I gotta ask him what he wanted to sell what else do we have though here uh, we got the original complex con Travis Scott's um, I probably worn these twice. These are the original white pair that released at ComplexCon, not the sale one. That is a little bit cheaper. They come with the whole Nike Velcro thing as well. So if you guys want to switch the Nike check marks. 
But that's pretty much the sneakers that I have chosen that I for sure will be selling. I know I'm gonna be adding some more. We also have a couple size 10 sneakers for sale as well. Um, what else we got? We also got the Rude Vintage Hat Corduroy Material. We got a couple pair of Stone Island sweatshirts, Stone Island cargos. We also have these very sick Saint Laurent raw denims. Um, these are kind of like a skinny fit, super nice quality. I think retail on these is $7.95. I'm gonna be throwing a deal on them, probably like, I don't know, $150 or something like that. We also have a pair of authentic Nike bull shorts. These are the uh, actual shorts that they rock in game. And retail for these are, hold on, it's crazy, I remember, 150 bucks, all right? And these are equivalent to like a size small. And the quality on these is insane. I'm gonna be throwing a deal on these. We have some Jordan 1 Royal shorts. So basically what I'm trying to say is, like I said, Said, you know this is just a fraction of what we will be selling I kind of wanted to go over some stories and memories that I have with each item for you guys before letting them go but as far as the details the website is right here these items will be for sale at 8 a.m. Pacific time sharp, all right? And each time that I do this, all the items end up selling out right away. So make sure you guys are on the website pronto. Everybody that has purchased something knows that there will be deals. So make sure you guys have your uh, cards ready, ready to uh, lock in. 8 a.m. Pacific time on Friday, Project Goods. Again, this is just like our spring cleaning, you know. I gotta make some room for some more stuff. So there we have it, guys. Thank you for checking out that video. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys are most interested in. If you guys have any questions, I didn't even talk about these unions too much, but these are super sick as well. Also, let me know down in the comments below what sneaker you guys are going to be trying to get, what item you guys are going to be trying to get. Um, like I said, man, I think last time we sold out of everything within like five to ten minutes. So just get on there quick. Hopefully you get what you want. And that's pretty much it. Let me know if you guys have any questions. The website will be right here. And until next time, I'm out. Peace. All right, guys, thank you for checking out that video. Make sure you guys are subbed to the channel, all right? We are trying to hit that one milli mark as soon as possible. So thank you guys for all the support lately. And uh, like I said, we're going to be throwing deals on deals on deals. So get on that website, Early Project Goods. This is just a fraction of the items that we will have for sale. And until next time, I'm out. Peace.